Can we afford for everybody to be financially responsible? Now, I know you're probably wondering, why is this even a question? Well, stick around because the answers might just blow your mind, and they could have a massive impact on your financial future. With headlines like these making the rounds, it's crucial that we address this elephant in the room. Are we truly capable of achieving financial responsibility for everyone? Or is it just an idealistic dream in a world where financial inequalities continue to widen? But wait, this isn't just theory. It's about your life, your wealth, and your future. We'll reveal how achieving financial responsibility for everyone can impact not only the global economy but also your personal financial journey. Number 1. The Importance of Financial Literacy One crucial aspect of financial responsibility that often gets overlooked is financial literacy. Many individuals struggle with their finances simply because they lack the knowledge and understanding of basic financial principles. This lack of financial literacy can lead to poor financial decisions, such as accumulating credit card debt or failing to save for emergencies. Financial literacy is the foundation upon which financial responsibility is built. Without a solid understanding of concepts like budgeting, saving, investing, and managing debt, individuals may find themselves navigating a complex financial landscape without a roadmap. To address this issue, it's important for educational institutions and community organizations to prioritize financial education. When people have the knowledge and tools to make informed financial decisions, they are better equipped to embrace financial responsibility. Number 2. The Role of Credit Cards in Debt Accumulation Credit card debt is a common challenge for many individuals and households. While credit cards can be convenient and offer various perks, they can also lead to financial troubles if not managed responsibly. It's essential to understand how credit cards work and the potential pitfalls associated with them. Credit cards provide a line of credit that allows individuals to make purchases and pay them back later. The catch is that if the balance is not paid in full each month, interest is charged on the outstanding amount. This interest can quickly accumulate, turning a small balance into a significant debt. One of the reasons credit card debt is at an all-time high is because of the ease of access to credit. Credit card companies aggressively market their products, and it's not uncommon for individuals to receive multiple credit card offers in the mail regularly. Moreover, online shopping has made it easier than ever to accumulate debt without feeling the immediate impact on one's bank account. To manage credit card debt, it's crucial to use credit cards responsibly. This means paying off the full balance each month, not exceeding one's credit limit, and being mindful of high interest rates on outstanding balances. Additionally, individuals should regularly review their credit card statements to check for errors and unauthorized charges. By using credit cards as a financial tool rather than a source of debt, people can maintain financial responsibility while enjoying the convenience they offer. Number 3. The Challenge of Saving for Emergencies A significant aspect of financial responsibility is building an emergency fund. Having an emergency fund is like having a financial safety net. Providing peace of mind and protection against unexpected expenses, such as medical bills, car repairs, or unexpected job loss. However, saving for emergencies can be a challenging task, particularly for those with limited financial resources. To build an emergency fund, it's recommended to set aside three to six months' worth of living expenses. For many, this can be a daunting goal. The reality is that, due to various financial constraints, not everyone can save this amount of money within a reasonable time frame. One reason for the difficulty in saving for emergencies is the high cost of living in many areas. Housing costs, utilities, and health care expenses can quickly consume a significant portion of one's income, leaving little room for savings. In such cases, it becomes essential to prioritize financial responsibility while finding creative ways to save. Budgeting is a valuable tool for managing expenses and increasing savings. By creating a detailed budget, Individuals can identify areas where they can cut costs and redirect those funds into their emergency fund. This might mean making sacrifices in certain non-essential areas of spending, such as dining out less frequently or choosing a more affordable housing option. Another strategy is to seek additional sources of income. Side gigs, freelance work, or part-time jobs can supplement one's income and provide extra funds for savings. The gig economy has made it easier for individuals to find flexible work opportunities that can help them achieve their financial goals. Number 4. The Complex Relationship Between Income and Financial Responsibility The relationship between income and financial responsibility is multifaceted. While it's true that higher-income individuals may have more resources to save and invest, they can also face unique challenges that affect their financial responsibility. Moreover, the assumption that high earners are inherently more financially responsible is not always accurate. It's worth noting that living paycheck to paycheck is not exclusive to low-income households. 
Many high-income individuals find themselves in this situation due to a phenomenon known as lifestyle inflation. As their income increases, so do their expenses, often resulting in a cycle of dependency on their current income level. For some high earners, their financial habits may lead to a lack of savings and financial insecurity. They may indulge in expensive lifestyles, overspend on non-essential items, and fail to save for the future. The misconception that they have a surplus of money can be detrimental to their long-term financial well-being. Conversely, low-income individuals who prioritize financial responsibility may find ways to stretch their resources and build a stable financial foundation. They may be highly disciplined in their spending, seek cost-effective solutions, and allocate funds to savings and investments, even on a modest income. In essence, financial responsibility is not solely determined by income. It's a mindset and a set of behaviors that can be practiced by individuals across the income spectrum. While higher income can provide more financial opportunities, it also presents the temptation to overspend and accumulate debt. Number five, the impact of economic uncertainty on financial responsibility. Economic uncertainty, often triggered by events like economic recessions or global crises, can significantly impact an individual's ability to practice financial responsibility. During times of economic instability, people may face job loss, reduced income, and increased financial stress. The recent COVID-19 pandemic is a stark example of how economic uncertainty can disrupt financial plans and push individuals into unforeseen financial challenges. Many people who had been diligently saving for their financial goals suddenly found themselves grappling with job loss, reduced hours, or unexpected medical expenses. In such situations, financial responsibility may need to be adapted to the new circumstances. This could involve revising financial goals, focusing on essential expenses, and seeking government assistance or support from community organizations. It's a reminder that while financial responsibility is important, it should be flexible and able to adjust to changing economic conditions. Number six, the dangers of get-rich-quick schemes. In the quest for financial security and success, some individuals may be drawn to get-rich-quick schemes and risky investments. These schemes promise substantial returns with minimal effort, making them appealing to those seeking a shortcut to financial prosperity. While the allure of quick wealth is undeniable, the reality is that most get-rich-quick schemes are scams or high-risk ventures that can result in significant financial losses. Individuals who fall victim to these schemes may end up in a worse financial position than when they started. It's important to recognize that financial responsibility is not about seeking shortcuts or gambling with one's finances. Instead, it's a gradual, disciplined approach to wealth building that prioritizes long-term stability and security. Those who practice financial responsibility are more likely to avoid the pitfalls of get-rich-quick schemes and focus on sustainable strategies for financial well-being. Number 7. The Environmental Impact of Excessive Consumption one often overlooked aspect of financial responsibility is its environmental impact. Excessive consumption, driven by the desire for luxury goods and non-essential items, contributes to environmental degradation. The more we buy and discard, the greater the strain on natural resources and ecosystems. Consider the phenomenon of fast fashion, where clothing items are produced quickly and inexpensively to meet the demands of ever-changing fashion trends. Fast fashion has led to increased pollution, excessive waste, and poor working conditions in the garment industry. Individuals who prioritize financial responsibility may opt for quality, long-lasting clothing items over disposable, trend-driven fashion, which has a more positive environmental impact. Additionally, overconsumption can lead to the depletion of non-renewable resources and an increase in greenhouse gas emissions. When people make more conscious choices about their spending, focusing on essentials and sustainable products, they contribute to a healthier planet and a more sustainable future. Number eight, the complex relationship between savings and investments. Savings and investments are both essential components of financial responsibility, but they serve different purposes. Savings provide a safety net for emergencies and short-term goals, while investments offer the potential for long-term growth and wealth accumulation. However, the balance between savings and investments can vary depending on an individual's financial goals and risk tolerance. Some people may prioritize building a robust emergency fund before venturing into investments, while others may allocate a portion of their savings to investments as a means of wealth growth. The key to effective financial responsibility is striking the right balance between savings and investments. Diversifying one's investments and understanding risk tolerance are crucial factors in making informed decisions about where to allocate financial resources.
Working with a financial advisor or planner can provide valuable guidance in this regard. Number 9. The Role of Government Stimulus in Financial Responsibility Government stimulus programs, particularly those implemented during times of economic crisis, can have a significant impact on people's ability to practice financial responsibility. These programs, which provide financial assistance to individuals and businesses, can help mitigate the financial hardships caused by economic downturns. While government stimulus can be a lifeline for those facing job loss or reduced income, it also poses challenges. The influx of stimulus funds may tempt some individuals to overspend or rely on government assistance without proper financial planning. To maximize the benefits of government stimulus and maintain financial responsibility, it's crucial for individuals to use these funds wisely. Prioritizing essential expenses, paying down debt, and saving for emergencies are prudent strategies during times of economic uncertainty. It's a reminder that financial responsibility is not only about managing current resources, but also preparing for the future. Number 10. The importance of community support. Financial responsibility is not solely an individual endeavor. Community support and resources play a vital role in helping individuals achieve their financial goals and overcome financial challenges. Local organizations and nonprofits often offer financial literacy programs, budgeting workshops, and assistance with debt management. Access to such resources can empower individuals to make informed financial decisions and develop responsible financial habits. Additionally, community-based initiatives, such as credit unions and community development financial institutions, CDFIs, can provide affordable financial services and loans to underserved populations. These institutions prioritize financial inclusion and support economic growth in local communities. The power of community support should not be underestimated in the pursuit of financial responsibility. When individuals have access to these resources and networks, they are better equipped to navigate the complexities of personal finance and work toward their financial aspirations. Number 11. The Psychological Aspect of Financial Responsibility Beyond the practical aspects of budgeting, saving, and investing, there is a psychological dimension to financial responsibility. Our attitudes and behaviors toward money are deeply ingrained and can significantly impact our financial well-being. Financial psychology explores the emotional and cognitive factors that influence our financial decisions. For example, some individuals may have an emotional attachment to spending money, using it as a source of comfort or a means to alleviate stress. Understanding these emotional triggers is essential for fostering a healthier relationship with money and practicing financial responsibility. Moreover, cognitive biases can lead to irrational financial decisions. For instance, individuals may exhibit overconfidence bias, believing they are immune to financial setbacks. Or they may succumb to the anchoring bias, fixating on specific numbers or prices. Recognizing these biases and learning to make decisions based on rational analysis rather than emotional impulses is a fundamental aspect of financial responsibility. Financial responsibility goes beyond numbers and spreadsheets. It encompasses our beliefs, emotions, and habits related to money. Exploring the psychological aspects of financial behavior can provide valuable insights into improving one's financial well-being. Number 12. The Role of Financial Goals in Fostering Responsibility Financial responsibility often starts with setting clear and achievable financial goals. These goals serve as a roadmap for one's financial journey, providing direction and motivation for making sound financial decisions. Financial goals can encompass various aspects of life, such as retirement planning, homeownership, education, debt reduction, and travel. By defining these goals and attaching specific time frames and financial targets to them, individuals can create a sense of purpose in their financial planning. For example, someone aiming to retire comfortably may set a goal of saving a certain amount in a retirement account by a particular age. This goal becomes a driving force for saving and investing consistently. Similarly, a person striving to purchase a home may establish a target for a down payment and work diligently toward that objective. The beauty of financial goals is that they are highly customizable. Each person can tailor their goals to align with their unique aspirations and circumstances. Whether big or small, Financial goals provide a sense of achievement and a powerful incentive to practice financial responsibility. Number 13. The Importance of Financial Responsibility in Overcoming Economic Inequality One of the significant challenges in the realm of personal finance and financial responsibility is economic inequality. Economic inequality refers to the unequal distribution of wealth and income among individuals and communities. It can be exacerbated by systemic factors, such as disparities in education, employment opportunities, and access to financial resources. 
Financial responsibility can play a role in addressing economic inequality. By teaching individuals how to manage their finances effectively, make informed financial decisions, and build wealth, we can empower more people to break the cycle of poverty and achieve financial security. Financial literacy programs and initiatives that target underserved communities can be powerful tools for reducing economic inequality. When people have the knowledge and skills to manage their money, they are better positioned to improve their financial circumstances and create a more stable future for themselves and their families. Moreover, government policies and social programs aimed at promoting financial inclusion and economic mobility can further contribute to addressing economic inequality. These efforts can level the playing field and ensure that everyone has an equal opportunity to achieve financial responsibility and success. Number 14. The Evolution of Financial Responsibility in the Digital Age The digital age has brought about significant changes in how individuals manage their finances. The rise of fintech, financial technology, has introduced new tools and platforms that make it easier than ever to budget, save, invest, and track financial progress. Mobile banking apps, budgeting software, and investment platforms have become integral parts of people's financial lives. These technologies offer convenience, accessibility, and real-time insights into one's financial situation. They have also assured in a new era of financial responsibility, where individuals can make informed decisions at their fingertips. One notable trend in the digital age is the growth of robo-advisors. These automated investment platforms use algorithms to manage portfolios, making investing more accessible to those who may have previously been intimidated by the complexity of the financial markets. Robo-advisors align with the principles of financial responsibility by providing a simplified and cost-effective way to invest for the future. However, the digital age also presents challenges, such as the risk of identity theft, online scams, and data breaches. To maintain financial responsibility in this digital landscape, individuals must take cybersecurity seriously, protecting their personal and financial information from potential threats.